Hey, good morning, friends. It is uh, Thursday, the 23rd of April, or of February. Hope you're doing well. I'm already jumping ahead to Easter. It's been on my mind a little bit, so that's why uh, April came out there. But it's not. It's February, uh, lest we mistake the snow and the cold uh, that fell the other day <laughs> for something else, uh, which are still apparently with us for a little bit longer. But uh, we are back at the beginning, back at the beginning of the book of Psalms. We are looking at Psalm 1. Uh, we are about to begin our fourth trip together through the book of Psalms. The Psalms are prayers that the people of God have been praying uh, over and over again for thousands of years. And so we join in this great tradition as we begin again the journey that we've already completed. Um, but but we, begin it, uh, we begin it in a new way uh, because we are doing it now. We're different people than we were uh, the last time we began. Uh, we've been through different things. We've continued uh, further away from um, the depths of the COVID pandemic. We're trying to find new ways of being the church. We're finding new ways of being uh, the people God's made us to be. Uh, but the Psalms don't change. <clears throat> the, the Psalms continue to speak to us and for us uh, as we move through the various aspects of our lives. And so it's good to, to begin again with, um, with Psalm 1. Uh, our gospel reading today will be from Luke 18 as well. So here we go. Psalm 1. Blessed is the one who does not walk in the way of the wicked, or stand in the way that sinners take, or sit in the company of mockers, but whose delight is in the law of the Lord, and who meditates on his law day and night. That person is like a tree planted by streams of water, which yields its fruit in season, <clears throat> and whose leaf does not wither. Whatever they do prospers. Not so the wicked. They are like chaff that the wind blows away. Therefore the wicked will not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the assembly of the righteous. For the Lord watches over the way of the righteous, but the way of the wicked leads to destruction. Our gospel reading this morning, again, from Luke 18, verses 9 through 14. Jesus told also this parable to some who trusted in themselves that they were righteous and regarded others with contempt. He said, two men went up to the temple to pray, one a Pharisee and the other a tax collector. The Pharisee, standing by himself, was praying like this, God, I thank you that I'm not like other people, thieves, rogues, adulterers, or even like this tax collector. I fast twice a week. I give a tenth of all my income. But the tax collector, standing far off, <clears throat> would not even look up at heaven, but was beating his chest and saying, God, be merciful on me, a sinner. I tell you, this man went, to, went down to his home justified rather than the other. For all who exalt themselves will be humbled, but all who humble themselves will be exalted. Both of these passages um, juxtapose the ways of the righteous versus the ways of what the Bible calls the wicked. The ways of the righteous versus the ways of the wicked. And every single one of us stands in both camps. Uh, none of us are fully righteous. None of us are fully wicked. The classical theological way of saying this is that we're all sinners and we're all saints. All sinners, all saints. God meets us in both aspects of our reality. God offers his grace and his love and his, and his, and his redemption and, and his reconciliation to us that we might become further who God desires us to be. I want to invite you to join me as we go to God with our prayers of thanksgiving and intercession. God of all mercies, we praise you for you have brought us into this new day, brightening our lives with the dawn of promise and hope in Jesus Christ. We thank you especially for the warmth of sunlight, the wetness of rain and snow, all that nourishes the earth. Thank you for the presence and the power of your spirit. For the support and encouragement we receive from others. We thank you for those who provide for public safety and well-being. We thank you for the mission of the church around the world. We invite you, friends, to lift up your own prayers of thanksgiving.
And now, merciful God, strengthen us in prayer that we might lift up the brokenness of this world for your healing, that we might share in the saving love of Jesus Christ. Today, Lord, we pray for those in positions of authority over others. We pray for the lonely and the forgotten. For children without families or homes. For agents of caring and relief. We pray for the church in Asia throughout the Middle East. Invite you to lift up your own prayers of thanks of intercession. Eternal God, you never fail to give us each day all that we ever need and even more. Give us today such joy in living and such peace in serving Christ that we might gratefully make use of all your blessings. Joyfully seek our risen Lord in everyone we meet. In Jesus Christ we pray. Amen. Well, we're back at, the, at a new beginning and it's good to be together to pray, to hear God's word. Uh, to know that we share life together and that we are in community. I hope you have a great day. God bless you today. Uh, take care, and we will see you again tomorrow. We'll see you again soon. God bless, friends.